fiberglass hull, deck and seat are the three main mouldings in it. The centreboard is a two-piece moulding that fits up into the boat, basically weighted at the bottom to give the boat some stability and just fits through a slot in the boat so it's very quick and easy to assemble. The mast is anodised aluminium and just fits on the deck and is held up by three wires, same as most model boats. Basically, steer from the boat, sat inside, move the joystick right, the boat goes to the right, move it left, the boat goes left. The linkage is exactly the same as you'd use on an aeroplane rudder or elevator with bell cranks and push rods. So it's a very simple, tested way of moving a rudder. OK, last thing we need is the sails. They are a lightweight sail cloth, as you'd use on any radio control boat. They just fit into the back of the mast and pulled up. Halyard clips in. OK, now we've got the boat ready to sail. We've got a main sail and jib. Controls, we've got main control inside there and a jib sheet on either side and a little jammer to hold the jib sheet inside the boat. So all the controls are right in front of you where you can get at them easily. Coming to Maidenhead is a lot of hard work for us, um, coming up with the boats, setting them up, but seeing other people enjoy the boats is well worth it. You can see by the smiles on the faces as they're sailing them that they're enjoying them, um, which is really what it's all about, is enjoyment of getting on the water and sailing. Um, so I build the boats, but I get probably more pleasure actually sailing them um, as well as building them.